passion in my heart. Oh, 20, 20, um, yeah, today, 21 years ago. And uh, I was on my way to Sacramento, California, and I was like, uh, I was getting ready to go, but I had these, I knew I wasn't supposed to go. I, I, I knew I wasn't supposed to go. And I, I remember my son asking, I want to go with you. And I'm like, no, he had been with me the whole summer. I'm like, no, you can't go this time. I said, I'm going to take your Uncle Ken because his body can handle whatever we might. And I'm thinking, like, what are we supposed to, in, you know, encounter that, that requires to have a strong body to be able to do that? And we went and got in the car, and, and a car ran a red light, hit our car, our, our Suburban, and the Suburban went up airborne and started flipping. And I was holding on, and I said, okay, this looks like it's it. Let me keep my eyes open because I want to see if I was right about the transition and see everything I can possibly see. <laughs> I kept my eyes open just like that. And then what I think was turning around, my eyes bumped into those angels. And I can tell you, it was like it was yesterday. The angels were the color of light. Their clothes and their hands were the same. It was, it was, a, it was a light and it was light. And, and, they, and I saw their eyes, and they went past me just like that. And then once I went past their eyes, then I saw myself in this realm where there were several people on my opposite side out of focus. Then something began to pull me closer to them and them closer to me, and they began to, to come out of focus. And then this voice came between me and them and said, no, and you could see the power of the voice. Uh, no, too much unfinished business. And then everything went in reverse, and I'm in my body. Don't know if I left it, but I was in my body hanging upside down and, and heard myself breathing and got out like, what in the world just happened? And then I looked for Ken, and he had got knocked out the side window and had, they, they reported seeing a man flying. And he, he was, he, he, he went about 80 yards down, landed in the front windshield, and was on this lady's lap. She needed therapy after all this was over with. <laughs> on this lady's lap. And, uh, you know, we went to the, to the hospital because I thought he was dead, and, and he wasn't. And we got there, and, and as soon as he got there, I must have was on a supernatural a, a adrenaline or something. But uh, it was just too much adrenaline, so they checked me in at the same time. And as soon as I kind of came to, I went and found him, and I wanted to ask him, I said, did you see, and I couldn't even finish, he said, those angels? I said, you saw them? He said, I sure did. And I'm like, you know what, I don't care what, no, I don't care what nobody think about what I said, I know what I saw. God sent his angels to rescue me, praise God. We, we didn't miss our confession. But even in my, my not listening to him, you need to listen to God. You need to pay attention to him because he's going to say some stuff that's going to rescue you and take care of your life, and sometimes people don't do that. 